hello family good morning you're welcome back to my channel today on my channel i will be taking you guys along with me to madrid yes madrid is capital of spain i'm going there for some documentation and i thought it wise to take you guys along with me this is my first trip out of valencia city so i hope that this vlog will be you know quite informative and also entertaining to you guys popular city in spain it has approximately about 3.4 million inhabitants in it so guys we are going to a big city and a very busy city at that join me on this one <laughs> So guys, um, stepping out from my house, join me to Madrid here. I'm just on the streets. I had to leave my home quite early because the speed train um, that I'm following is going to be an early speed train. It's for 7 13, so I have to go there early so that I can get to video and also not miss my speed train. This is me getting into the bus. This bus is going to take me to Valencia Hacking Soroya. That's where I'm going to, to get into my speed train. It's um, Estacion. It's a train station. So I'm going there, heading there right now. I just got off at the bus stop. Um, this is the last. This bus stop is directly opposite the train station. As you can see. The steering station is just across the road. This is Valencia Joaquin Soraya. The this train station is just at um, very close. It's not very far from my home. Um, it took me uh, about probably five minutes to get there. The road is not yet busy. A lot of people have not come out to maybe go to where they are going to so it's really kind of calm and um, the train station is not the only train station here in Valencia there is another train station I did a video on that on my youtube channel so if you've not checked that video out you should do so this is the train station inside and it's actually almost empty i think people have not come yet because i came quite early um this is the board to check the departure time now we can see that train station is getting fuller by the minutes people are heading to pass their bags through the machine the machine that will scan their bags and i'm on the queue as well so we're heading closer to boarding our train This is the first time I am actually going to Madrid through um, the speed train means of transportation. So um, there are queues, that, there are um, these boxes here that you see. They have train attendants here. They are going to check your ticket to be sure you have the right ticket and also to direct you to where you should stay for you to get into the right train. They will also give you some sanitizers and just things to keep you you know safe on this trip here my train just arrived guys this is the train heading to madrid it's just arriving so we are going to leave here on time the train is actually a very long one pretty long it's going to take us there are at least 10 coaches on this train and i'm supposed to enter through the seventh coach because instead of you entering through the wrong coach and having to you know look for your own coach inside it's better you just get into the train through your own you know coach entrance and this is my own coach entrance so i'm proceeding to enter the train right now 
and inside the train as you can see guys is neat and it's spacious it's also very um, clean and tidy and I just love the train because it's fast so people actually walk in Madrid and they live in Valencia so they can actually take this train every day to their place of work and never go late here we are leaving the train station this is our first stop we had to stop here it's also a town in Valencia I had to video this. This is the windmill. It produces electricity for some city. Um, this is the second stop, and we had to stop at Cuenca to drop some people. Now we are in Madrid, guys. This is Madrid. Estación de Atocha. You see that the train is quite full, and a lot of people are actually with their traveling bag. I didn't go with the traveling bar because this is a one day trip. I was meant to get to Madrid, do my business and come back the same day to Valencia in the evening. So I'm not sleeping over, this is just a day trip. This is um, the train station at Madrid and it's pretty, pretty and it's very large, larger than the Joaquin Sorolla in Valencia showed you the station in Valencia so compare it to what you're seeing now this is definitely more beautiful and of course larger and more busy as you can see a lot of people from different parts are in this train station going to their different places of um, work Here you can see that I'm out of the I'm looking to exit this train station. This is the salida. Salida means exit. I need to get to where I can get a taxi out of the train station. The train station is actually big. In order for you to find your way around, you may need to ask questions because if you've not been here before actually be quite confusing here I'm proceeding up to you know get out of the train station because we, we are the train dropped us on the ground so in order for you to exit you need to come up to the other platform Here I'm out of the train station in Madrid. I'm in Madrid City as of now. You can see there Madrid. Because Madrid is the state capital of Spain. So a lot of multinational companies, a lot of um, offices, a lot of embassies, a lot is happening here. It's like the business hub of Spain. So there are more people, uh, more cars, more noise. <laughs> and as well you know more money is being made here so some people work here some people actually live here but most people that live here live at the outskirts of the city um, just because of cost of living is quite a little bit high when you live in a Madrid suburb this is the bus that plies the road, the public transportation here in Madrid. It's blue as against Valencia's that is red. But the city structure and plan, it's practically almost the same. They have the same road structure, the same means of transportation. They have um, the same hardens, that's gardens. They have a lot of trees planted here in Madrid, same with Valencia too. 
and they have very beautiful historical buildings as you can see there's so many buildings here in Madrid the the buildings are same as the ones we see in Valencia so Madrid is also um, almost alike Valencia just that Valencia is more quiet and Valencia is not is the third largest um, city in Spain while Madrid is is the second largest city and we have Barcelona also on that list so we are heading now to Embajada the Nigeria this is my embassy guys because I'm from Nigeria so whenever you need any documentation you need to go to the embassy and since I don't stay in Madrid I have to you know take this journey to the embassy to get my documentation and I will be coming back on the same day I just hope that everything goes on well so we are heading to the the embassy and it took us approximately like 15 minutes to get there because there's traffic in Madrid I don't get to experience traffic in Valencia uh, but there's traffic in Madrid Madrid is busier so there was traffic and traffic light also and it kind of delayed our journey of course you have to drive at a particular speed limit so so that you will not be given muta or you will not be you know you know go against the traffic regulations here in madrid see i was glad that i came here i saw a lot of things here I'm done with what I came to do. I'm heading back home. This is Real Madrid Stadium and just across the embassy of Nigeria. Yeah. So the stadium is there and I guess this place will be very busy when there is a match going on here. Should be as if everything returns back to normal or when everything returns back to normal. Um, to take another ride back to Estacion de Atocha so I took a ride a taxi back and I'm going heading back to Estacion de Atocha I was glad that I was able to do everything I came to do to get documentation that I came to get and I'm heading back just in time for my train um, the train was for three 40 and now it's actually two o'clock so i'm just in time because i love when i'm traveling I, I just need to get there on time so that i don't i'm not stressed by hurrying up so i'll just take my time to get to where i'm going to and since i'm doing a video for you guys i didn't want to have to stop the video abruptly um i wanted to you know do it to the very end so guys i was very glad when they got to answer me although they delayed us at the embassy but it i actually collected what i came to collect just in time so this is the station that touch her and this is it it's actually there's a one part is arrivals one part is departure so i'm heading to the departure this is the departure Oh wow, this train station is exquisite, it's beautiful, it's splendid, it's different, you know. I have to come down because I'm going to be leaving from the ground floor, so I need to go down to get to my train. The train station is actually always busy, people are always, you know, coming and going and there are a lot of shops here there's also this space where they planted trees it looks pretty nice it looks as if we are outside but we are not outside there is a roof over the trees <laughs> i don't know how they maintain it
thank you for joining me on this journey and don't forget to like share subscribe and of course leave a comment to those